What is going on everyone? Are you wanting to move to Edmonton? Or thinking about moving to Edmonton? Or just wondering what it's like to live in Edmonton, Alberta? Well, this video is for you as we are gonna cover the pros and cons of living in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So stay tuned. Welcome back, my name is Shaden Moore. I'm part of the Hop Realty team with Professional Realty Group based out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn everything about Edmonton, start now by subscribing to the channel, clicking that little bell so you're notified every time we put out a new video, as well as if you're thinking about moving within the city or if you're thinking about relocating here to Edmonton, Alberta, do not hesitate to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you want to reach us, day or night, we got your back covered for all your real estate needs. Well, kudos to you for doing a little bit of research before you make up your mind if Edmonton is a good spot to call home. Let's go check it out. With wide open spaces, affordable housing, a recovering job market, a mid-size urban area, and the capital of Alberta, Edmonton offers a lot to prospective movers. The city of Edmonton, AKA the city of champions, is a clean, green, affordable city you can be proud to call home. However, along with its advantages, like any other city, it has its downsides. That being said, don't start packing your bags quite yet. Watch the full video to get a better idea if Edmonton is for you. Well, let's get started. Here are a few factors that make Edmonton a great place to live. The first pro about living in Edmonton, Alberta is the friendly atmosphere. Friendliness is one of Edmonton's outstanding characteristics. Unlike the residents of some of the larger cities in Canada, Edmonton has a slower paced, community oriented feeling to it. The friendly local folks are welcoming to newcomers and visitors. See, I told you, just walking down the street, car full of happy campers wanted to share the love. This upbeat attitude will go a long way when you're getting settled in here and make some new friends when you move to Edmonton, Alberta. The second pro about living in Edmonton is one that is kind of at a halt right now due to what's going on in the world, but I'm including it because I am hopeful that soon enough we will be back to normal. And that is, we are known as the Festival City of Canada. Edmonton truly deserves the nickname Festival City as it usually plays host to a number of festivals all throughout the year. Over 50 festivals a year provide a variety of exciting experiences, spotlighting art, drama, folk, food, music, and a whole lot more. Here we're at the Edmonton Ski Club, where in the winter time, as you can see, you have lots of outdoor activities. Right beside it, we got Gallagher Park. And in the summertime, normally, there's all sorts of festivals. My number one favorite festival to go to is called Folk Fest. So much fun, can't wait to go back. And coming in at number three pro about living in Edmonton is the sports galore. Edmontonians are super passionate about their sports teams in the fields of football, hockey, soccer, and basketball.
as well as another half dozen amateur and junior sports clubs. And if you're anything like me and prefer playing rather than watching, you can choose from a number of sports activities from outdoor, indoor, on the ground, on the ice, geared towards all ages and skill levels. And number four pro of living in Edmonton is we got the West Edmonton Mall. No description of the upside of living in Edmonton would be complete without the mention of West Edmonton Mall. Though it's famed as the largest shopping complex in North America, covering 5.3 million square feet, its excellent shopping is just part of the story. The mall is a destination in itself and you could easily spend your whole vacation here. Enjoying family friendly attractions like the Mammoth Underground Aquarium and the year round tropical water park. Hop into the Galaxy Land to ride some roller coasters. And to wind up your day, there's a host of dining options and even two hotels on site. And number five pro of living in Edmonton, Alberta is the green spaces. Edmonton is attractively located on a lush river valley with the North Saskatchewan River running right through the city. is a natural wonder for all Edmontonians to be proud of. I personally love it. I'm in the River Valley every single day, either going for a run, walk, bike. In addition, an impressive network of open spaces and parks planned with the aim to protect the natural environment helps keep the capital green. Not so much green right now, we're in a little bit of a slush fest out here, but soon enough she'll be green, 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 green. We have the largest urban park in Canada with more than 160 kilometers of maintained pathways and 20 major parks. Like check it out. Everyone's out for a stroll today, enjoying the beautiful weather and the scenery. Well, now that we've gone over some of the pros of living in Edmonton, 
Let's balance that positive report with a few negatives about living in Edmonton, Alberta. Let's go. All right, let's get into it. The cons of living in Edmonton. And coming in at number one, and it's probably not a big secret to all of you out there, but the first con about living in Edmonton is definitely the weather. Edmonton's northerly location means you're gonna have to brace yourself for a long, cold winter that seems like it's gonna last forever. Although this year we had quite the mild one and it was not too bad at all. It was actually pretty nice winter. The snowfall is relatively light compared to some of the other Canadian cities. I think Edmonton averages 123 centimeters a year versus Montreal's 209. In general, Edmonton weather is known to be extremely unpredictable. Just a few days ago, it was snowing like it was the middle of December, and now today, blue skies, sunshine. Edmonton is also known to be quite sunny with an average of 325 sunny days a year. Just a gorgeous day out today. This is one of my favorite spots just down the street from my house. It's got killer sunsets at nighttime. Got a huge toboggan hill. This is where they host uh, the folk festival normally. In normal times, it's all right here with a whole bunch of stages set up my favorite time of the year. And the second con of living in Edmonton, and my number one biggest pet peeve that drives me nuts about living here, is the poor infrastructure, meaning potholes galore. With the long, cold, treacherous winters that we have, and the short summers, the streets seem to be filled with cracks and potholes and in turn leaves you with construction freaking everywhere. Just last week I hit a pothole, blew up my tire, uh, dented my rim, $2,000 later, getting honked at over here. But that is the number two, which makes it a little inconvenient to commute around the city with all the construction going on. But that's my number one frustration about living here. And that's number two on our list. Traffic, traffic, traffic. And last but not least, we're gonna address the big elephant in the room. There's been a few comments, a few people wondering about the crime right here in Edmonton. And yes, it is above average. But that being said, just like any other city, there's a few areas that you're gonna wanna stay clear of. I'm standing in one right now. Um, most of the crime is gang or drug related. They don't harm the general public. There's tons of areas in Edmonton that are super, super safe and friendly. So just like any other city, there are certain areas that you wanna stay clear of. But yes, it is a downside to living in Edmonton. Well, should you move to Edmonton, Alberta? It basically comes down to your priorities. If you like the thought of a green, friendly, active city, then Edmonton could be the perfect spot for you. On the other hand, if you hate the idea of a long, cold winter and the thought of high crime rate scares you a little bit, mixed with the long commute, from place to place, then maybe Edmonton is a little bit less desirable for you. On any note, if you guys are thinking about moving within the city or you're relocating here to Edmonton, Alberta, do not hesitate to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however you wanna reach us day or night. We got your back covered for all your real estate needs. And as always, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're notified every time we put out a new video. 
I hope you all enjoyed the video and have a better understanding if Edmonton could be a perfect spot for you. Until next time, we'll see you later.